okay guys this is Ferman again in another just my review and today guys i got this guy right here let me show you guys this is the uh putco bread blade and what is this guys well this is the bar from putco this is this bar right here uh, i just making this video because i see a lot of uh uh, post uh, for guys looking how to install these guys which is the best way to do it and I see a lot of videos but well unfortunately it's a ton of videos for uh, Chevy's and Ford's and basically a couple of few videos just for our bridge lines and basically these products as you guys see the picture right here well you guys see the other brands right there Chevy and Ford and we don't see <laughs> You see right here four but this is compatible with our pickup truck the Honda Ridge line guys and I'm gonna install this guy right over here this is the spot we, where I'm going to put this uh, because it's flat and don't interfere with the uh, uh, with the gate and got everything that I can put over here in this hole right here you can use that one I just disconnect this guy right here and basically this wire this is the uh, uh, uh this is the reverse got this uh, special connector that is going to the uh uh gm i'm sorry yeah G the silverado and four but it's not uh compatible with our car uh, for that way we ha i have to cut it this one got a nice housing right here i cut this one and I'm putting this one through this uh, housing all the way to the end uh, we're gonna put it together now the way that I'm gonna do this uh, this one I just cut it I'm sorry guys didn't show you this but this one came with a four connector and the uh, reverse is this white wire uh, that got this connector well I just cut it I'm gonna put everything right here and I cut this one too this is a four connector if we use just this one using this hitch we're gonna have only just uh, everything left right stops and and the regular uh, tail lights but we're not gonna have reverse now if we use this one if we use this one right here I get this one Hopkins five flat set and um, I get this one in AutoZone same price of uh, if you guys get it in Amazon uh, you just get it in, in AutoZone and uh, I think it's the only one they have in this type let me show you guys the model number if you guys need it right there this is the 47A95 Hopkins and basically uh, we're gonna use this too basically it's in a set it's coming in a set uh, we're gonna use instead of use this one this is the one with the uh, uh, light coming uh, it's coming with the light connected and that's the one just I cut off and we're gonna install this one instead of now we gotta uh, watch out right here because it's a big difference in colors for the wiring in this one uh, in the uh, put code the uh, 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 the black wire is the uh, ground in this case the white wire is the ground now we gotta watch out because in our case in this one this is the other way now right here <clears throat> the black wire as you guys can see the black wire is the ground and in this one is gonna be the white right here uh, you know we gotta if you guys take a picture right here uh, you guys wonder where is the uh, all the, the colors and everything well everything is right here the diagram is right here turn left right left tail lamp uh, back lamp uh, brake everything is right here right behind you I see guys where in the manual is that I can see it I can find it well it's right here guys everything is right there now we're gonna use this uh, scotch connectors scotch line connectors and we're gonna use this we're gonna connect these five wires right away here connect it uh, first to this guy and that way we're gonna leave this one right here basically not this one I'm sorry we're gonna leave this one right here hanging right here and I'm sorry we're gonna leave this one right here basically connect this one using the scotch <clears throat> connectors 
and we're gonna create a nice nice uh, connection right here and this one you can use for the future we're gonna have this one uh, for the future too if you don't use in, in into the light you can use it and follow in the next lights you guys have it's gonna be available for anything um, this one is gonna be there the only thing probably is gonna be a good idea is to buy a, a, a cap in case you guys remove that uh, but it's so far it's not gonna be necessarily because we're gonna connect this one right over here uh, with this one right we're gonna connect this one together right here and it's not gonna be no problem so far but just in case in the future you, you guys don't need the light well we can use this one and like i told you guys just we gotta watch out the wires and uh you know different colors comparison the light we got right here some colors are the same some other ones are different all right let's see how it looks like i'm gonna connect this and um let's see how it goes okay guys i got the connection right here already as uh, you guys can see i just removed everything from from basically the housing for the trailer hitch and uh, the connector and we got it right here basically uh, just let me show you the blue right here in the line this blue in the middle this is the back backup light uh, this one right here is <coughs> this is right here uh, left this is the left basically this one is the left and it's connected to this white in the trailer this one right here uh, this is the uh, right side and uh, let me see what is the right side this is the right side and it's connected to the red one in the trailer this one right here we got the crown connected to the to the uh, uh, thick the thick we got two uh, two blacks one black is for the tail lights is the skinny one and this one the thick this is the ground and and this one is uh, basically i'm sorry this is the, the this is not the uh a dip the the the, the uh, uh big black we got the skinny wire this is not this is going to the tail lights this is the skinny one I, i'm sorry my bad this is the skinny basically wire and this is the big one right here this is the big one you will see the difference right here also also you guys just gonna notice this one right here this is the big uh our cable and this one is connected to the white you got the five wires right there everything is gonna be working fine right now and everything uh, let me show you guys this is gonna be to this connector right here you guys can see what is everything this is the backup right light this is the left this is the uh, 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 parking light and this one right here the brown is the uh, ground uh, now guys uh, you guys <coughs> gotta use basically um, this diagram right here you use this diagram and follow this plus your uh, 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 wire connector right here that is this one right here is showing you what is each color and basically this one and the Hopkins uh, basically they are the same uh, basically you see the colors the colors match very good and uh, let me show you right there the colors match very good but the problem is when we go to the uh, rich line and the rich line um, is a picture right there I'm gonna show you guys uh, I'm gonna put the picture uh, in the in the comments below uh, and I'm sorry in the video uh, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna put it right now is this is the uh, picture take a look okay guys that was the picture and you guys follow that diagram follow the colors and connect those colors following uh, the connections in the uh, uh, in the uh, light all right and everything is gonna be okay as soon as we do that uh, we're gonna do this right now and let's see how it works all right guys well I got it work I got these things working right now and I'm gonna show you guys I connected the way I told you guys everything is back there i just gotta put something and make it a real nice i i left the long of these because you never know maybe in the future uh i have to use this i, I don't know yet but maybe a trailer for a, a u-haul or something like that i need to pull this all the way or trailer for something whatever you never know i'm gonna put this i decided to leave this long i'm gonna put it back there with some tape it's not gonna hurt nobody temporary i just put this 
uh, connect this we just take just I'm gonna do a nice connection and I'm gonna put everything together I just want to show you guys how it looks everything connected and I'm gonna show you guys the final product now guys you guys see the light right here I got my lights on and uh, let me see <clears throat> I'm gonna just turn it this way because I'm by myself right now and I got my my kids basically inside let me see if you guys are able to see it <clears throat> okay uh you guys see it right there okay let me hold the brakes take a look guys okay you guys see the brakes right there i'm gonna put the the the, uh, the, the uh, left turn or right turn this is the right turn yeah okay and let me put the other one okay you guys see it working now i got the brakes on Signal working, signal working. Now let me put, hold on, let me just get inside. And put the emergency lights. As you guys can see, it that's working really nice. Let me get closer a little bit. You guys see everything right there? I don't have this connected yet, but I just want to show you. The purpose of this video is not show you guys how it looks like, because uh, at the end, I'm going to show you guys the final work. But basically, right now, I want to show you guys that it's working really, really nice. And... Let me put the reverse. Uh, <clears throat> hold on, let me just put the brake right here because you never know. Okay. I'm gonna put the reverse right there. Okay. I got the car holding in reverse. And, okay. Yeah. As soon as, yeah, as soon as I remove the brake. Okay. Yeah, right there. You guys can see it really, really nice. Now, let me take it off the, the reverse and put it in neutral and the thing goes away and you got the blinking lights right there i love these lights guys okay guys this is how it looks like right now uh after you put the tape and everything you know that's the original uh, connector basically you guys basically what we did here is to add a five uh connector to our uh, uh trailer uh wiring connection right here and we wired everything right here everything is nice in color and it's as you guys can see the tape is very good i did a double tape just to make sure uh in case no <clears throat> no water goes in first of all it's, i start from the the uh, top to the bottom and then i go backwards that way you know it's gonna be the tape on the bottom is gonna the basically the tape on top is gonna cover the bottom every turn I do every turn I do and you know we got water coming down it's gonna get on on top it's not gonna go inside uh, in order to don't get any whatever happened right but everything is real secure and everything and uh, I just put this tape right here uh, to uh, in case we need it for something else like a uh, u-haul trailers or any future lights because well this one uh hopefully it lasts for a long time but probably we're gonna need more lights and this one's gonna be perfect for any connection okay now guys uh right here basically i just finished the wiring and as you guys can see i'm putting this electric uh, tape all around this to make sure everything is gonna be secure individually i uh put the electric uh, tape all around these wires individually and now I'm gonna put it put it in all around to the end over here okay and that's the finished job right here and now we're going to put it uh, this one put it inside this hole right there and we're gonna clean this I'm gonna use this 3M promoter and that way we're gonna have a good um, addition to this area right here because it's not like the other pickup trucks that this part is pain is, and we can add it real easy no in this case we, it's plastic and in order to add it over here guys we gotta use this in order to <laughs> don't lose this on the highway when we're driving we gotta make sure this is got a, a good good uh, connection with the light and this plastic part and we're gonna use this uh, guys this is the part number take a look you guys can pause the video this is the 3m uh, promoter 4298 UB and is good for um, 
2023. Basically from uh, now we got uh, maybe around year and something, year and a half, but this is not for life. That's what it says. And well, we're gonna use this. I got an applicator right over here. And uh, that's gonna be to uh, use these little parts right here, these uh, little uh, 3M pieces to connect this. I'm gonna use this guy right here. All right guys, that's the way we gotta put the uh, uh, the promoter right there those spots <clears throat> don't worry about it that's just a promoter it's not gonna damage the, uh, the uh, finish uh, and then we're gonna use these guys also we're gonna put some promoter right there then we're gonna use these four pieces of 3M in we're gonna put it right here but we gotta make sure to use these guys otherwise uh, you know, I don't want to lose this thing. It costs too much money and try to get the best one. We got to let it dry. Make sure it's completely dry. And, you know, if you got to put more, just put more. Don't worry about it. It's not going to do anything to this area. All right. Promoter did a great job right here. And uh, basically st sticks really, really, really good. You know we have these four pieces this is this thing is not going nowhere and as you guys can see right over here let me show you right here this is a relay or something or a kind of a, a box with some wires inside but if we squeeze it over here just open and closing the door it's gonna fit exactly right here and you know what i love it because the phone of the uh, uh bumper is holding this piece to go through and basically it's gonna stay there and it's not interfering with anything right there I love it and you know this is the wire right here just we gotta put this one right there and this is the wiring guys right there uh, this is basically the wiring everything is coming through that hole right there and when I show you right here behind in case uh, let me show you it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys but uh, this wire right there let me just to focus the camera uh, that wire right there uh, behind there is a fuse in case something happened you just gotta move it out and just remove the fuse and it's right over here behind this frame that way you know it's gonna be protected just for the rain that the woods may be caused it's gonna be good right there because all the wiring is covered by tape but I just put it behind there just to give you more protection and this is the excess wire I, why I didn't cut this well you never know in the future maybe I'm gonna need this all right guys well I'm gonna show you guys right now that's the way the uh, car looks with the lamp Okay, we're gonna put the uh, emergency lights. Okay. Now the uh, 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 left left turn. Right turn. Reverse. All right. Hey guys, this is the way it looks. It's real, real strong. As you guys see, this is real, 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 real strong light. Put cold light. Uh, I know it's expensive, but this is quality. Why I choose this light? Well, three years warranty from them. Uh, also, unfortunately, they don't sell it in Amazon. Uh, and whoever sell it for as a third party, they not count their warranty. Uh, in other words, you guys gotta look for a, a reseller from them and uh, or get it directly from these guys. All right, guys? Okay guys, there you have it. Right here, 
you guys gotta the only thing is uh, right over here you guys gotta be careful when you stole this light in this area right there because uh, if you don't do it right you can hit it with this actually I got uh, right here a, a little uh, I got a film right here it's hard to see it but you guys can see right here the corner I got a film that every time when I open this just in case if it touches don't uh, scratch the paint honestly the light is very nice but uh, uh, I don't care too much about the light I know it's $200 but I care more about the uh, finish of the track the paint and I got this little film right here you guys can get it in Amazon I can put the link below if you guys requested it uh, but this one is a film that you know it's invisible and you guys can use any um, uh, size just cut it put it with soap and water and it's gonna work very very nice all right guys see you guys later on in another just my review thumbs up